Here is a quick build update while I'm waiting for some parts to arrive basically. You can see here a SKR board. This is an SKR 1.3. Some of the connectors are starting to get wired up which is fine. And this is where I'm held up. So you can see here I don't have any JST XH connectors so I've been starting to try and use JSTs. Not working too well though at the moment so we'll try and see what we can do with that as we go along. However, the rest of it though is pretty much done. Like have a look at this. The top panel here is ready. This looks nice. There's the electronics. The parts here are done. I forgot to show you the inlets as well. So at the rear, I'm printed out and finished that part. I do want to wait to do some black prints for the bottom of this part, however. The rest of it is pretty close, so have a look at this. So you can see here, this is the afterburner. So um, take a look, so you can see here, this is the compartment bay for all the wiring. It's um, pretty good overall, I think. The main thing holding me back is that the stepper motor, seen here, takes up a fair bit of room. And I'm not sure how to make that look any neater. Not much I can do really. Overall though, it looks pretty clean, I think. So I can't sort of shove that in anymore either. The fans end stops are all contained inside here and are pretty tight. So I can um, close that up if I want and put the screws in if I want there. At the moment, what I've done is um, put the ends of the fans for when I want to connect them up on a piece of filament, just so I remember to do them later. So you can see the cable chain is done. So let's have a look again. And so if you look at the cable chain route, it's basically these cable clips here. Go through to the side, come up here, go through the top of the chain. And then across here, this can be cleaned up a little bit, put a bit of braiding on it and then goes through this cable chain all the way across to up here. That's pretty much it. I think probably what I can do, although I won't bother until I um, have the machine finished, is it feels like I need to tighten these belts. See how there's a bit of a resistance like that? Um, it does move great though, like it's very smooth. Does the job, which is great. Um, overall pretty happy with it. Uh, after building this a few times, I love how accessible it is to get to the bottom part here. See the screws. Um, one thing I'd like to point out is if you're building this for the first time, it does feel a little bit weird with... That's going to be a bit hard to see. Yeah, you can't really see too well. Turn up the exposure. Um, this part has the belts in it and you do have to press on it a little bit or tuck them in behind the probe wire. This will make more sense if you're building this yourself. Um, after the, but other than that though it works great and there's some screws back here oops back here sorry to make it um sit in tight. But once that's all done it's um it's a very solid build and um it's very great for maintenance so Pretty happy with it. This is an almost done printer. I'm just waiting for the JST XH connectors again for the printer itself. So it's looking good. Pretty happy with it. Um, yeah.